Good evening. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's the Wednesday before Halloween, so maybe we'll get an extra Halloween appropriate thing today. I mean, you know, a lot of Doom levels are Halloween appropriate in their own ways, but maybe a mod that uh, turns the cacos into uh, jack-o'-lanterns or... Oh, nice. Yeah, your little uh, Unicode jack-o'-lantern shows up in my, in my terminal thing. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I think my volume's good. Hmm. All right. Well, yeah, let's get going. How are? I hope y'all are doing good. Um, yeah, welcome to Wad Wednesday. We will pick some random Doom levels and play them. This way to hell by Dax L. Nolf from December 1995. This level is my first WAD file. Um, I intended to make a deathmatch level after all. After all, that is the best way to play. Opinions. Turned out that the file ended up to be a little more difficult than I expected. Um, the exit is a long fall into the depths of hell. Okay, well, yeah, we've got a first time Wad creator here. Uh, Dan Swope for the original layout of the file and for being patient while getting his butt kicked as he helped me test it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, tips, compliments, or if you just want to shoot the Wad file down, please email me at something at pit.edu. Okay, well, yeah, let's play This Way to Hell by Dax L. Nolf. <clears throat> That's a, name. That's a name I haven't heard before. <clears throat> Way to hell, yeah. Okay. What is going on here? Folks, welcome. Thanks for thanks for joining us. All right, so we're in this green, marbly sort of place. Definitely some first level editor experience. Trying out different stuff. Kind of thing. This is oddly familiar to me. It's possible that we've played this, uh... Yeah, like, I just remember, like, these these particular fire stairs and revenants behind a wall there, like... I mean, it's possible that we've played the, uh, the level that this was based on, that the author mentioned in the readme. But, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it seems a little bit different, at least. It is, it is familiar, though. I don't know how long ago we would have played the thing that looked like this, but... Um... It has happened before. 
in Mod Wednesday. And yeah, I can kind of see how this is a... Uh... Oh yeah, if my launcher kept a list of previously played mods, that would be a good idea. Um, I have a directory, so I could just search in that directory. Like, it, it copies, when it launches a file, it copies that file to, um, to a directory kind of for archiving. This guy's in an, in an annoying spot. There we go. Go. Oh. Now we're in the cage with him. Hmm. I don't have a clear sense of where these teleporter lines are. Curtain in there. Alright. Yeah, this just does seem familiar. What is going on out there? There's a car with its hood popped up. I don't know. Um, okay. I feel like this is going to open up or something, maybe. Kind of looks like some of these walls are going to come down. shaped octagonal room right here. Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, I see. Some concentric ring type stuff going on here. other ring. <clears throat> do I want to do this? Same general monster population as the other spot. Yeah. All right. Let's go back and hit that other teleporter because I feel like that was the way to something. Okay, this just takes us between these two. Yeah, see, this is all, like, super familiar. Um, yeah, like... whole thing comes down. Alright, and I can see on the auto map that there's like a thing back here, but 
And I'm roughly lined up with it. Oh yeah, you're right. Great, it is totally a car. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, can't get up here. What if I jump off this way? No, this is too low of a ceiling for me to be able to do any fancy jumping in there. What about... Alright, so yeah, you can definitely see the, the limits of the, uh, of the little secret wall thing there. Don't know how I get in here. There's a teleporter back here at like the megasphere. Doesn't look like there's anything Nope. Huh, okay. Well, let's see if I can uh, find any... Okay, that's a secret. Yeah, that's unsurprisingly a secret. Alright, so that's an interactive thing. But yeah, how do I get in there? <clears throat> I'm using my little cheat tool here just because... Where's this? Oh, oh, oh. Oh my, okay. Yeah, like this is totally familiar. And I wanna say I've 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 played through this like only in the last couple of years or something. I don't know, or maybe it was one of the very first uh wads that we played. I don't know. But yeah, this this whole bizarre texture usage of using like the the boss face textures as just wall tilers here is definitely it's weird enough to to be memorable <clears throat> all right now we are in a weird old maze Okay, I, I guess they gave me the yellow key. Oh, yeah, okay. And then... And then I get to go through here? Wait a minute, what, what just happened? stuck in here now. Alright, I'm gonna cheat back out here so that I can actually have another go at this. What just happened? Okay, so this opens up like this, but... <clears throat> this is really weird. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh, annoying. Yeah, like, is this intended to be one way, or... Like, what is going on here? Okay, so there's, like, a 
door here. Yeah, this is not so great. Yeah, and I'm just straight up blocked here, so I don't think something about that's broken. Alright, and now I'm in a cool... No, wait. I'm not in a cool place. I'm in a very uncool place. Okay, yeah, weird staircase courtyard thing. <clears throat> oh, dang it. Oh, that turned on the lights. Kind of doesn't look as cool this way. All right, now, now what's up? Looks like something opened up there. Yeah, this is this is all just a little too roughly made, and you know, like the idea of having a weird one-way flow kind of thing, and I don't know, like it's all just a little too. I feel like there were some ideas here, but. aren't quite coming across with the, the clarity that they need to, or with the, the kind of the amount of like, I don't know, I mean, because I've played wads that I would consider deliberately obtuse, that I've really enjoyed before, but I think, you know, you gotta have some, you gotta bring some, <clears throat> some craft to it. Oh my. I lost it so saved. Alright. I feel like a lot of levels, a lot of early, you know, wads just have to have a room like that where just a ton of troopers to mow down. It's a standard thing. Okay, and so now I'm here. Oh, but look, this I think this is a new new place to go. And yeah, we're just full up on everything, so... Don't even matter. Oh! Did I trip something? Yeah, I'll bet, I'll bet that was my way back into something. Oh, no, I popped out here. So that was gonna lead me to here? Yeah. Okay, well, it kind of seems like I'm near the end of this, right? Like, yeah, what is going on here? This was like, this was like a thrice blocked door thing. Yeah, so, yeah, and like, where's the, where's specifically the exit? Where, can you please direct me to an exit? Or does it just not have an exit? Like, I'm pretty sure my little detector tool here is able to detect any kind of level exit. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, that's probably that's probably it. You can't escape the hell car. And now this hell car has kind of like some odd, you know, sort of 
squarish hallway lines around it, so it's not quite the pure illusion or the, the pure picture that it was before. Okay, well, I don't think there is an exit. There is a proper exit to this. <clears throat> and given the general roughness of everything else about it, I am going to call that done. Yeah, way to hell. Um, yeah, gosh, like, I'm really curious now, like... Um, okay, yeah, here it is. Um, 2017, uh, July 5th, 2017. So yeah, it, it, it was a while ago, and it was one of the... It was a pretty early Wad Wednesday that we played this. Um, yeah, there you go. Cool. Okay, well, that was another trip back to that, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty rough. You know, it's not... It's... I don't know. There were... I think I already said everything that I kind of wanted to say about that. But, uh, yeah, cool. All right, well, let's move on to another one. Uh, 254. Um, yeah, this, this, this is, uh, I mean, I definitely recognize this, uh, definitely recognize this, uh, map author. Um, I mean, right, it is his... He, he went by 250, right? And so it, everything was... But then also, like, real tough. Yeah, I just remember um, this guy would post on the Something Awful forums back in, like, 2000, 2001. And I think he was, like, building Doom stuff kind of after a lot of people had moved on from it. Anyway, I've only played, like, a few of this author's maps before. Uh, Euthanasia for Doom 2. This is from November of 97. Looks like the cyber units have had enough with your brutality against them and their friends from hell. Without any warning, you were teleported to a playland for cyber humans. Needless to say, this is going to really be a hard battle, especially when a lot of Doom 2 regulars are helping them out. All right, and then a link to the author's uh, AOL page. Cool. All right, well, I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, wow, and there's a... Yeah, George Fiffy. Um, yeah, a whole batch file that prints out just a big... <laughs> okay. And there's a readme here with story. Looks like there's maybe a demo lump. All right, well, let's give it a shot. Um, yeah, 254 uh, from November 1997. Okay, that's some that's some MS Paint Edge Lord sort of stuff. All right, <clears throat> yeah, we got custom pistol sound, custom everything sounds. Not quite, but. All right, and yeah, we've been sent to a cyber demon playland, so I expect this will get this will get intense. But yeah, look at that sort of just chipper yellow MS Paint sky. All right, can't get out. That opens that up. Oh man! Oh man! I can already tell this, this is going to be... This might be tough times. Alright, so we've got four cyber demons. We've got like a sort of a... a two-way, an X and Y symmetrical space. And... Cyber demons at each corner. Hmm. I've already taken a lot more damage than I would have liked. Let's see, there's like... Okay, and there's these key-locked doors, so I think we're going to be returning to this frequently. Okay, yeah, and there's like a... Jeez, wow, okay. 
this structure has actually been authored to just not provide any cover. You're just always exposed to one to one jerk or another. Yeah, that's actually uh it is actually kind of clever. scan and all of this really sucks. Alright, we got three hit points, which I think means it's time to save, right? Heck yeah. Structurally, this kind of recalls the inmost dens, map, map 14, sort of. I mean, we're in like this bounded area with a structure and kind of a moat everywhere and then enemies up on these platforms. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks though. Don't really have anything to deal with these uh, cyber demons with. Everything wants the blue key, except this. All right. I think I've at least found the way, found the way forward. Oh great, I hear another cyber demon. I want that BFG. Oh yeah, and look at that. It's kind of framed in that nice E1M3 Soul Sphere kind of way where you can like see out a window and just can't get up to it. Okay, let me see if I can just snipe these dinguses, cause Okay, there's the cyber demon that, that woke up. Oh jeez. Okay, that must have been the sound of that revenant aggroing or teleporting in, maybe. Who knows? Uh, okay, wow, this is not going to be fun. I guess I have to grab the invisibility and run through this maze. Just run along that weird walkway. Oh, look at that! Now we're in uh, Circle of Death, kind of. Yeah, this is all sort of like lightly riffing on. Um, Doom 2 maps, but in a pretty loose way. Does it even do me any good if I get the invulnerability up there? It doesn't do me any good if I fall. <sighs> My Doom platforming game just isn't isn't up today. I haven't been playing that much Doom in general lately. Yeah, and like, yeah, I don't, I don't think that that. I'm gonna 
try one more time here. Yeah, these really are just very carefully spaced so that so that yeah, just to maximize the difficulty. All right, so like. This is rough. Oh my gosh, there's so many different lines of sight to cover. So many different directions, directions to be shot from. Oh my gosh. Well, this is definitely, you know, an example of how to do a cover crawl in Doom, you know, where it's like, okay, player has low health, there's one of the few enemies that just can bring overwhelming firepower on you, and then there's just a bunch of little things that you kind of have to, like, just stop and chip away at. Am I screwed? Like, I'm pretty sure I can't make the run across this across this slime to anywhere useful. Yeah. So yeah, it's also just being real real stingy with the the health. And for some reason the mask, the spider baby hasn't taken notice of me yet. Very cool. Now I have almost no ammo. But I have kind of cleared this out. You know, except for the Cyber Demon, obviously. Oh, and look at that. There's jerks down there as well. This is brutal. Which I'm sure is the point. Alright, hope I get some ammo at the top of this lift. Yes! Oh my gosh, alright. This is just a slaughter corridor. Uh, yeah, have a good evening, uh, Cheese. Alright, I don't know what kind of hell I unleashed back there. Uh, cool. Uh, Tin Kelp says, I found the video of the last map. Turns out there's no description outside of broadcasted live on Twitch. Yeah, it wasn't until a few months in to Wad Wednesday that I started, like, putting the names of the, of the authors and stuff in the descriptions. I guess I could go back sometime and uh, key all those in. Alright, so... We're in a slightly less brutal punishing place now, I think. 
I spoke too soon. But no, this is this is this is manageable. There are, however, chain gunners. That's where all the bad stuff is. All right, we're dealing with it, getting through it. I hear those revenants. Let's have a look at the layout, because honestly, I've been so concerned with immediate survival. Yeah, so... Yeah, the cyber demons so far have just been like you're not you're clearly not meant to fight them to actually fight them you just don't have nearly enough resources and firepower oh my god just took that revenant rocket right in the face <clears throat> oh yeah there's a custom hud let's leave that up Much like the skybox, it has a certain MS Paint charm. Bozos really keeping me pinned down. Oh my gosh. of enemies in there. By which I mean that was all of them. Oh my god. deal with these guys? Probably not, right? These skeletons. I think maybe it's just because I've been listening to their idle sounds and kind of been getting on my nerves. I must not be landing very good hits on them because... Okay, what a bunch of bozos. Okay, so I think this is taking us to a spot overlooking. Yeah, it is. Totally is. Okay, so what's good about being here? That didn't lower anything. Okay, so that lowers that. We can get in here. Aha, okay, that's a red key. That's nice. Okay. Okay, okay, cool. Well that was a nice little that was a nice little puzzle loop. We came through here, had a tough time, and then we looped around with the library and Okay, so like and now we have the red key and we can go down here. Okay. 
yeah, so like, you know, this is, whoops. I would say this is on the far side of, uh, oh yeah, if this is from 97, let's just rock vanilla essence for a while. Yeah, if this is from, um, yeah, this, as far I would say this falls within tough but fair, you know? It definitely has like a, we're gonna give you very difficult situations and you just kind of have to like, get a foothold and, you know, deal with this unreasonable stuff. You know, we're being given lots of ammo, generally. But only in, like, these dumps. You know, it's like... Okay, yeah, this might be getting a little excessive. Finally some armor. Pretty sure that's the first armor that I've gotten in this level. Oh lordy, we're being given a lot of rockets, so I'm assuming that some sort of vicious punishment is coming up. Oh, I see, yeah, now we're overlooking where we were before. And yeah, I guess I can shoot this bozo. I don't know if I need to necessarily, but I'm certainly just constrained to a nice little platform. If I screw up any of these dodges, I'm in trouble. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know if that was necessarily worth it. I don't know if I, maybe I... Maybe I just totally squandered my rocket ammo. I don't know. But I sure did deal with that cyber demon, and now I can just sit out here in my lawn chair. Oh yeah, how do I how do I get that? Let's see, is there oh yeah, look there's something up there. Maybe I go back. Around here. Little heretic, heretic wall hump noise there. Yeah, where would that be? I guess I should figure that, like, the secrets in here aren't going to be, aren't going to be gimmies. But I do like how, you know, this feature here kind of makes you think backwards from this point. All right, well, can we just plop down here? Yeah. Okay, so I have the red key. Is there anything I can do? back with, yeah, there is. There is a red key back in the place of the four cyber demons. There is a thing that I can do. Alright, so that maybe opened up one of these areas that was... 
No. Okay, that's the place I've already been to. Did I just come from this direction? There we go. Okay. Oh, jeez. Didn't mean to go down here yet. Well, whatever. Okay. So that's a breather. Um, oh, jeez. Really got to deal with those revenants. I think I got it. Yes. Good. All right. Hey, welcome. Uh, yeah, I am playing, this map is from 1997, so I'm playing with the vanilla essence mode enabled, but only ever a key, all I need to do is hit F5 to uh, go in and out of it. Alright, so this seems like it's uh, a crawl through the damaging floor area. Oh, hey buddy. I'll take a berserk. Hmm. Damn it. All right, so I did something there. been playing Quake at Baby Res, and I prefer it that way. Baby Res is a very entertaining thing to call old, low resolutions. It's like it's made of Duplo blocks. This way before the rad suit runs out. And yeah, it's a little encounter is just about the duration of one rad suit. Okay, so this does this. Maybe this is what the switch lowered. As a kid, I had to run Doom with a tiny screen on the 386. Glad when we got a 486 chip. Dog clad, yeah. Um, yeah, totally. I too first played Doom on a 386, and uh, I would use low detail mode. Um, you know, you press F5 and it like doubles each, it only renders half as many pixels, as many width pixels. Um, and so it gave everything this very distinctive, like chunky look. Um, and nowadays, you know, on this giant screen and stuff, this is what, you know, this 320 by 200 sort of emulating mode is what that feels like now. But, uh, but of course, you know, um, let me go to, uh, oh yeah, where's, uh, I don't know what that's all about. Um. 
uh, configure low res. Yeah, let's bump it up to. All right, so now I'm, now Vanilla Essence is giving me 640 by 480 equivalent. Um, Yeah, this just affects the game's render res. Um, dang it, wait a minute. Did I just totally screw up here? I was up there. I was up here specifically. It does seem like I'm supposed to get up there. Alright, well... Oh, wait. Wait, have I been here before? Oh, okay. Alright, okay. Okay, so now I think we can unlock the... Yeah, that's right. That's right, back at the starting area. We can do this. I don't know what what's good about that, but... It... Angered a new cyber demon. So that's what it did. Alright, like, and then we can get down here. Nope, already been here. So wait, I don't quite understand what was. Okay, yeah, that opened up that thing on that side. Alright, so like. Oh, yeah, okay, it opened up this. Okay, great. There's just a whole party going on here. I might be screwed once this in once this invulnerability runs out. just running around frantically collecting stuff. Okay, so like, what did that do? Huh. Fancy teleport noise. I need the, yeah, I guess I need the yellow key to get in there, but. Hmm, I actually can't figure out where to go next. That whole thing. Oh, and it looks like the river that ran through that area led to a leads to a whole underground thing. It's a little quake E1M1 esque. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Like, oh wait, maybe there's a new open space on the other side of the opposite side of here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Alright, this is a party pack. Oh jeez, oh jeez. <laughs> no. Ah jeez. 
Okay, well that is that is a, a dense packet of enemy badness. Let's see if I can deal with these now. I, okay, I cannot avoid aggroing the, the pain elementals. I might be making a big mistake here. Um, yeah, you're saying that the... Okay, oh jeez. Someone was saying, like, maybe the yellow key was back there, but I don't think so, but it does seem highly possible that I could have missed it. All right, and now I can go back here. good down here, I don't think. Actually, could have grabbed that med kit. Failed. Okay, so like, where, what else is opening? Oh yeah, that's right, there was a, there was a yellow key door here. And yeah, it looks like we're kind of closing in on the, uh, ending of this level, maybe? Maybe. Okay, now that door is open. Nope. Okay, okay. Are we heading into the home stretch here? Is there going to be. I'll bet that there is some. that there is some sort of really challenging fight coming up. I feel like this, this designer has enough of a difficulty streak that he's not going to let us leave without, without a spanking. Oh, 
Or maybe not. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, that the that ending was actually uh, not too bad, really. So yeah, you just kind of like leave a bunch of... Yeah, and there were five secrets I didn't get. So I definitely left a lot on the on the table here. Um, but yeah, this was pretty challenging, honestly. Like, you know, just, yeah, like the cyber demons really were just set up as like turrets. There's not really any of them that you have a good position from which to actually kill them. Um, like, yeah, that one that I killed over here was just a complete waste of time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this was tough, you know. Yeah, and it just had, like, kind of the hub and spoke key quest in, in, in each one sort of thing. Um, yeah, pretty good. Not bad. I can respect the sort of, you know, challenge sense that that, that it brings there. Um, and, yeah, there's a whole story here. I don't know why it's not... Okay, yeah, yeah, there, there we go. We're going back to the... So yeah, okay, well yeah, that's about all we have time for today. But yeah, that was uh, Real Tough Classics Euthanasia for Doom 2, aka 254.wad. And uh, yeah, that was that was tough. And then before that we played, we replayed uh, for the first time since July of 2017, This Way to Hell by Dax L. Nolf. Um, cool, all right. Well, yeah, thanks for watching, folks. And uh, I hope you have... A good week. Stay stay cool. Stay safe, um, or stay warm if you're in the northern hemisphere, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.